Hello, friends. There are only a few of the truly wild horses left in the world. And, ironically, today they live in zoos and reserves under the supervision of humans, who are the ones responsible for almost destroying them over the years of their long coexistence. Meanwhile, millions of domestic horses lead an absolutely wild lifestyle, living in nature. They were domesticated a long time ago, but by the will of fate, ended up being free again. Therefore, generations of feral horses now live in natural conditions. And even though the habitats of these horses are similar to their wild ancestors, their appearance gives them away as the domesticated kind. About 4,000 of these feral horses live in the Danube Delta in Romania. Sadly, it is customary in Romania to tie the legs of horses with a chain so that they do not run away. When a horse falls, entangled in grass, branches and chains, it is simply impossible to watch without tears. And some horses can't even get up after such a fall. And so they die if help doesn't arrive in time. And the wounds these chains inflict? It's hard to even imagine how much these unfortunate animals must be suffering. However, there are also people who are always ready to come to the animal's aid. They work for the international organization Four Paws. A veterinarian from this organization had recently rescued a horse by removing the chains from its legs. The horse kicked and resisted the vet at first, as it couldn't understand the man's intentions. But when its front legs were released from the shackles, the horse calmed down and started cooperating. But no one could have expected what would happen next. After being released, the horse rubbed its muzzle against the face of the vet, showing its gratitude. The man who helped the horse had already saved many horses before. Most of these wild horses have a very sad story. On the one hand, they are among the last remaining feral horses living on the European continent. But on the other hand, they pose a threat to the forest flora, including some plants on the IUCN red list of threatened species. In 2002, some of these horses were captured and sent to Italy for slaughter. Some organizations have objected to their removal, believing that these horses have value in being adapted to their location and having natural social behaviors. Another push for removal and slaughter began in 2009. But the horses could not be removed from their area at this time because some animals are carriers of equine infectious anemia. And therefore, according to Romanian law, they cannot be taken out of the quarantine zone. A project in collaboration with the World Wildlife Fund is currently underway. It is aiming at finding a way to get rid of these horses. While some organizations object to the complete removal and advocate for the conservation of some animals, others are trying to find sanctuary for the horses. And that's all for today, friends. Share your thoughts about this episode in the comments. Like the video and don't forget to share it with your friends. We'll see you next time.